All right, so we're out here Labor Day weekend. You get the whole family, including the dog, and hopefully gonna get some stuff done. Uh, I'll do some cutting with this probably, but I wanna open up some trails. I uh, brought the stick saw along, so hopefully we can do that. And I was just checking this out here on the gearbox. Looks like it could be a little low. Well, if we can get that, to, there we go. It's not quite in the middle. I did bring a, an Allen key along, which looks like that's not what I would need. Looks like this plug here, it should just seep out if it's got enough, which it looks like it's a little low. Uh, the last time I ran it too, I thought when I looked in that sight glass, it looked kind of like creamy white, which would mean there'd be water in there. <laughs> So I don't know, we'll have to see, uh, we'll see when we run it here if that, if that changes and I'll have to check the, uh, the level as well. All right, so I just ran it a little bit and you can say, see in the uh, sight glass there, it's all creamy white. So, I don't know, we must have water in there. I'm assuming it's from that vent on the top. Maybe that's not sealed up very well. So I'm gonna pull this plug out, just take a look at it. Obviously this thing should probably get flushed out. All right, so I got this loose here. Um, I did take out the, the top, and it doesn't appear that there's any sealant. Like this has this red, it almost looks like a thread seal or a Loctite on it. The top uh, breather here doesn't have anything on the thread, so maybe the water's sneaking past the threads a little bit. Um, it looked like the oil was over the gears though in there, and uh, it didn't look like there was water all whipped up. Oh, uh, it looks pretty creamy in here. Yeah, it's like a creamy, I don't know if you can see it or not, a creamy froth. So, it's right up to the hole, but it's not coming out. So, I think according to what I read yesterday in the book, that's actually a little low. It should come out the, uh, the top of it. So, I don't know. It's just the way it goes, I guess. I'm not sure how you, how you drain this, though. I don't see any plugs unless you have to stand it up on end or something so I'm gonna put this plug back in and I'm gonna use it today and then next time I come out here I'm gonna have to remember to bring out some gear gear oil with me all right so I got done mowing the front here and uh, I did some stuff on a trail here I thought maybe if I used it enough I get warm warm enough where I'd kind of burn some of that water off but it's still pretty milky and that box isn't very warm either so i don't know i'm thinking somebody probably should have put a thread sealant on this vent and that's how the water is getting in there because i it doesn't look like it's just condensation it looks like there's too much and uh, that's kind of why i'm not going to that dealer anymore um there's more to come on that uh, they just they're really not good like from sales to service they're the largest the largest dealer around but they do an absolute horrible job so um like i said there'll be more to come on that um let, let's uh we'll go inside here and i'll show you the uh path that i got cut open here all right so this i had opened up last time this is basically just trimming with the uh the brush hog rotary cutter and uh Further down is where I needed the stick saw. If you recall the last time I was out here using the stick saw, I ended up uh, running the chain off and some viney stuff uh, that was up in the tree. But you can tell now this looks a lot better. I don't know, it's, sometimes it's hard to know when to stop because like even like this stuff over here, I'm like, well maybe I should just keep cutting that back as well. Oh, that doesn't look real good. That's a piece of, of iron of sorts. Huh. That looks like that went through the brush hog, actually. It's got a shiny spot on it. I'll have to check that out and see. Anyway. So, what I did with the uh, stick saw was trim up the tree as far as I could reach, non-extended. You see I got this opened up to the road here nicely and kind of did that on all the trees uh, if the tree was really small then i kind of decided well maybe i should just take it down get it out of the way it's just going to be a nuisance but definitely got this 
much more opened up here than what it was. This was just completely, it was like a tunnel going through here. It was just all completely covered here with brush. And there is, uh, there are some narrow spots still just because they're larger trees. But whoever cut these in initially had them wide, wide enough to get the tractor through with that, that brush hog. So that's nice. I don't know, and I think this type of thing, this just looks like a nice, nice job. The trail looks real nice. I actually was cutting this one, and I got to a point where I was like, what the heck? The trail just stopped. I actually made it all the way down to the other end and didn't realize. I was just like, so in the, uh, the zone here, trimming stuff up, I just kept going. Here's another path that leads out now. Um, this one was overgrown. There was all sorts of brush in here that was just like lopped over. And then uh, this pine tree here took a bunch of that stuff off too. So like this one here, I, that I should probably just take down. Even like this one right in here that's kind of leaning a little bit. And then some of this stuff that's hanging here, that's just hard to get. It just doesn't want to... You just want to skip around on, a, on the saw. The saw doesn't want to bite into it. But if you get an idea, you can kind of tell how this was. This was pretty, uh, pretty full. There's a spot there I must have missed. This was extremely overgrown here. You can probably tell there's a lot of green on the ground. A lot of grinding and I don't know if I'm done with this yet but this, at least it's usable again uh, before it was pretty bad like this spot here gets a little tight so there's a big stump there big stump there and a tree over here along with this one here so you got to make sure you're coming through pretty straight this one here that goes off this way that I cut a while ago. That one doesn't look too bad. That was just with the tractor though. I didn't do anything with the stick saw and that's what I, you can kind of see how there's stuff hanging over the top. Whereas this, there, there isn't that. There isn't anything hanging over the top anymore. And then this would be, I believe the out. Yeah, this is the out on the very end. And then what I did was I kept going this way. This is where I kind of got in the zone just kind of forgot what I was doing here and just kept going. I'm lucky I didn't end up in the neighbors. <laughs> so this one, I, I just came down to the corner here and then you can kind of see there again, you got a, there's a pine tree over there, right here, this, that pine, that's all got to get trimmed up. And then there's some branches on these two. It's a lot of work, but it looks nice when it's done. All right, so that's going to be it. Wrapping it up here. Um, I got to remember next time to bring some, like I said, some 80-90 weight with me, or 80-W-90, I should say. And, uh, I don't know, I'll have to look in the book and see what the, the procedure is for draining and refilling that gearbox. Maybe you got to pull the gearbox off the unit. Um, even after all the running that I did with it, it still was, like I said, pretty creamy yet. So, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, I'll probably, probably will bring some thread sealant along too, of some sort, just to seal that up so I don't end up with any issues. I'm sure it's not good for it. So, and then the other thing I noticed after I got done with it here is that this back piece here is really taking a beating. And when I was backing up with it, I noticed that the chains were catching the blade because it's bent in there. I don't know, that's just a really, really poor design. I mean, it doesn't take much to bend that. So I'll have to bring a bar along too and just bend that straight. But yeah, like I said, I don't know, it's just odd that this, this vent doesn't have, on the threads, it doesn't have any sealant. And you know, if it rains, the water's just probably going to run in there. So... Unless there's a drain plug underneath, I don't know. Like I said, I'll have to check the book. I don't have the book out here. I, I got that at home. So, all right, that's gonna be 
That'll be it for now.